Hey guys, uh, we have another really interesting hero. Uh, he was one of my favorites in uh, Dota 1. Uh, there the homing missile would just build uh, up uh, on the depending on the length of the of the like distance between when you cast it and the, uh, the enemy hero. Here it's fixed damage. Uh, that's some interesting, always interesting change. He kind of does the voice line uh, where he says when he launches this, I dare you to run. Uh, it's, I think it's connected like with the old ways where if you run it does much more damage here it's always fixed of course but yeah I, I, I like that a uh, nice addition uh, kind of reminds me of the, of the old days uh, with the old spell so let's start with the build I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the carry gyro you can also play support gyro uh, both are really fun but I think he becomes especially good uh, with the carry version uh, much 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 better than the uh, the support version so you'll be getting power threads you want to get the attack speed and stats it's pretty much uh, explanatory for many of the carries including this guy uh, now the second one uh, second one I would say go Maelstrom uh, you'll be having rocket barrage flag cannon and uh Doing attacks like like flag cannon, and it's a really nice farming tool. Uh, whenever your spells are on cooldown, synergizes with your spells anyways. Uh, it's a like like nice AOE addition. Almost everything is AOE, even ult. Uh, I mean the rocket can even become somewhat of an AOE if you get the shard. It starts attacking with uh, with the damage before it hits the target while it's flying towards the target. So there, there's a lot of damage uh, that this guy can pack, uh, even without like some of the items. He can just right, you can just send them, and he's gonna deal a lot of damage uh, by just being there. So I always get Maelstrom. I would always upgrade this to Mjolnir. Uh, being able to just jump in there, cast all of your stuff. If you wanna fight in all that mess, uh, let's say you're there and they're like, okay, we're gonna fight Gyro. You can just cast. Uh, this on yourself as well so if they want to fight you they want to take a lot of beating that that's like that's for sure ranged or melee spells whoever it is that they want to get hit by a lot so don't have to rush this i just like keeping it on maestro i'm going for something else uh, of course depending on the enemy team and if you can get a lot of value for this is like a very low cooldown and for this to work you're kind of gonna be able to keep chasing this is the best way you can chase uh it can attack anybody so it can be problematic uh, get, getting past all of the waves and hitting one hero alone so kind of i put some items that kind of give you that uh, extra durability to just keep chasing a spam in the rocket barrage so that's why there's a uh, sanjin and yasha here uh yasha as well yasha is always great item for for I mean, any any agility hero a lot of the carries uh the attack speed the bonus agility armor movement speed and Sange is the other effect that, that kind of allows you to stay in the fights more to be able to chase this hero needs to chase with barrage and, and other stuff so uh you also have to chase you know launch the rocket when the rocket hits you gotta be there to attack and uh, a lot of people will challenge you at that point uh, so i like the addition of uh Sanji and yasha a lot for this guy uh one item that of course you'll be always be making is black king like I said, you gotta be able to chase, you gotta be able to stay there, uh, wait for all your, all your cooldowns. Like I said, Barrage is especially a low cooldown and you also wanna be able to do flag cannons. So, you know, like, you, you just gotta be able to survive and, and keep uh, keep repeating your spells. So, Blacking is a must. Uh, there's an interesting app that you can make Silver Edge. Uh, it kinda gives you... I would say a bit more uh, variety uh, with, with with what you can do with gameplay. You necessarily have to like uh, let everybody know that you're there, right? Because if you wanna, if you're playing without this, uh, they're always gonna almost gonna see the homing missile being targeted, uh, maybe old flying, uh, popping the silver edge of shadow blade. You're getting real close, and then just opening with homing missile on one target, pressing the rocket barrage, pressing the flag cannon, pressing gold pressing black king you can just if they're not wired at that special place you can just get inside and open up on all five of them and just nuke 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 especially if you have this as well like you can imagine 
they're gonna jump on you of course but they're gonna be taking a lot of damage and it gives a lot of time for your team to kind of cover you especially if you have like if, you, if you're like talking and making and making shots so uh usually like getting this it's also a nice breaking tool break any evasion or uh, butterfly effect it's also free crits on everything so right it's a it's a nice item to get uh definitely not needed at all but uh yeah it's just a nice item uh scepter is one of the ni nice items as well but i usually skip scepter uh i'm not too happy with uh with the effect really uh this is great but you kind of have to be there and also survive a lot uh scepter is not that cheap i don't think the, the effect is that great that amazing uh i would rather invest into something like pike maybe or like a manta manta is also a really nice item uh again mostly i would make it uh to try and survive if there's a lot like a lot of hexes stuns, spell effects if i feel like uh, blacking is not enough uh if i see any value from the illusions being as bait like whatever it is uh, i would just prefer to get either like manta or pike pike can always push you in the fight out of the fights uh just another great item uh, of course you can decide of all, of all of these the one that you'll be ending uh, as usual is uh, satanic but i guess i guess for gyro gyro is not that uh of course he's not at all that damage and attack speed oriented right it's more it's more about getting there and surviving while you nuke uh with your spells so you can just go early uh with satanic and not for that much if i have enough attack speed if i have enough damage you're just going to be nuking everybody anyway especially if you have a shard uh it's completely fine to go for a fast satanic if you want you do not have to be like a last one like like i said with like with faceless void where you need that attack speed where you need the damage as much as you can of all of those and then just get a satanic as the last one uh shiro can just get it uh, wherever you want really uh there's some other interesting stuff as well uh there's daedalus right you're doing flag cannon attacks everybody does the crits it ma like makes sense uh there's also monkey uh this is another hero where you can just get monkey if you want to get it uh doesn't have to be necessarily to break anybody's evasion like i said any any like damage buff attack speed buff buffs the flag cannon with, with all of the attacks so the monkey is always a nice option uh th there's also butterfly completely fine to get it gives you like the whole like let's say let's say this is your build right right there's a lot of there's like health stat resist uh bonus health regeneration there's a blacking bar for spells there's satanic extra health and healing uh why not just get some like effect right, like this right where it's like ev evasion on top of all of the agility and stats attack speed and damage it's it kind of like imagine fighting a shower like this it would be horrible to try and uh, kill this guy with all of this right it is it's gonna be really really annoying because how do you actually deal with them you need you need monkey or silver edge just to break uh, evasion and even then when you, even when you break evasion on somebody like this it's still uh, such a huge pain to to try and kill him i said that's probably sinjin yasha there's blacking there's satanic uh it's it can be like really really difficult and all, all of the while while you're trying to do that he's just standing there and nuking you right like like i can still sit there disabled disarmed i can still spam my spells and uh right I, like destroy people anyways <laughs> even if it's like first and second alone right i can i can just sit there disabled and cast this and just not not care anyways uh even old so yeah completely fine to get this as well um i think even uh if you try to get like uh why is this move this so bottom can be pretty interesting uh because of the flat cannon right uh it's like it's like another item that gives you even more uh sustainability but also the whole um what's the name of, of the mage mage slayer effect right place a debuff when you attack enemies with the with the flat cannon you can attack all five so pretty much uh, Bloodhorn effect or Mage Slayer's effect gets spread on all five heroes if, if there's five of them to attack. So this can be a, like a really interesting item to get. Also also has uh, True Strike, Crits, 
uh, on the target whoever attacks it when this is cast so another like really great item uh, to think about doesn't have to be the last one doesn't have to be like really late one you can also just get this as an effect let's say they get hit by rocket they stun uh they're sitting in stun you're hitting them silence them continue hitting them with all of this then uh if, if they want to cast any spells on you they got a huge debuff you have a 30 percent uh uh 35 percent less spell damage right so it's really hard to deal with and even even harder with this uh with this item uh, so yeah a lot of the fun stuff uh for sure that, that you can really combine the uh, we said just take a look at the enemy team as usual and see uh what works if, if there's like a let's say they combo it with like some heavy heavy uh disabling uh, supports post four and five uh usually like like you, you either like choose uh full spell casters this this can be really nice combined with black king right you can silence one target kill him pop the black king kill the other guy and then ju just jump in the fight if they Get your health down, heal back with satanic, cast a Mjolnir on yourself, and right this is pour all of the spell damage. So really, really fun hero to play. Uh, as a carry, really easy to farm as well. Farm with barrage, farm with flag, farm with maelstrom early. Three tools for easy farming. And if anybody tries to gank you, just pop the rocket on them. If they don't want to hit, get hit by the rocket, they have to destroy it. If they're destroying it, they're not chasing you. So. Just save the rocket if anybody gets you. You can pretty easily get away uh, if it's not so, not something like crazy, like four of them gank you, or or like three of them, but with heavy spells, you can just get away. Maybe even kill somebody while running away. Uh, so that's it for the items. Uh, talent trees, talent tree. Uh, I would just take the health, be as annoying as possible, last as long as possible to cast all of this. Uh, second one, you can decide really. Uh, if it's better for you to get homing missile, uh, yeah, I can create stun, get it. Uh, if they didn't go for something like uh, crazy, sometimes I play against people that make four black kings. Uh, at that point, might be just might be better to get flak cannon. Hey, it just depends. Uh, sometimes I can't really get any value out of the missile. They don't get away. They just press the black kings. They got the the damn hoods or shrouds, and or they just keep destroying my rocket. It, it's not that hard to destroy the rocket while it's flying towards so yeah, just decide on that one uh it just depends third one of course more damage you don't you don't care about uh, moment speed moment speed is fine uh rocket barrage damage and the last one three times call down right uh similar to kunkas uh ghost ship it's like less than the 50 percent damage it's not full damage but still if they want to fight and they're like okay we waited one cooldown there's two of more following so you can just like get in there place yourself cast the call down uh, the cooldowns like like this and uh press all of the items the spells if they want to fight you they're going to be hit by three rockets you're pouring all of the damage uh you don't even have to be there you can just you can just uh, cast it like an umbrella of protection for any of your teammates if there's like one teammate running away there's maybe one of one or two or three of them chasing they're not that high health your teammate has maybe some spells they can kill them if they get low enough you can just cast a uh, cooldown if they want to keep chasing like get hit, hit by the rockets you'll be having homing missile ready all of this to jump and help especially with the silence effect you can even cast this on your friend so a lot of a lot of options to do really it's 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 it's, a, it's crazy fun with this hero there's a, there's a lot to press there's like four items like four clicks and then five six seven eight there's like eight eight things to press but at that part of it uh, it's it's really fun when you get the hang of it and you can just do it automatically without any thinking uh, so definitely worth practicing playing great uh, great carry choice always love uh, when they pick gyro like i said he really doesn't need that much at all anyways you can just watch him how he nukes everybody uh doesn't even die and uh yeah it's always fun to chase somebody when you cast a homing missile uh into the black area you just chase him and kill him so uh that's it with the gyro i think i covered it all pretty much and uh i'll see you guys on the next hero